don't see any hands raised. So if someone wants to start us off with the first question, you're more than welcome to uh, unmute yourself. And just a reminder, please introduce yourself to Cam. Obviously, he hasn't met you guys yet. So um, just identify yourself and we should be all good to go. Um, <clears throat> I'll start. Hey, um, Cam, do you go by Cameron or Cam? Uh, Cameron. Cameron. All right. Nice. Hey, I'm Jonathan Alexander with the Shot Observer. It's nice to meet you, man. Uh, meet you. Thanks. I, I was wondering what uh, for you was ultimately what what you like about Carolina what was ultimately the deciding factor in choosing to sign with the Panthers. Um, just the opportunity uh, to play with some electric players. Uh, the coaching staff, uh, the offensive scheme, uh, just just those types of things that uh, the coaches and, and myself talked about before, uh, you know, we signed the contract. Uh, I mean, the, the opportunity to just be able to compete and play, uh, you know, any any spot on the line um, is just uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I, was I just thought that was that. Oh, sorry about that, man. No, you're good. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what what position do you feel most comfortable playing? Um, I mean, I I, I played left tackle last year and got really comfortable uh, playing there. But uh, you know, I played all the spots on the line, so um, you know, me being flexible is one of the reasons why you know I, I I've been in the NFL. So, so let's go to Bridget Condon for the next question. Hey, um, obviously line is something that Carolina is trying to work on in the off season, you know, a lot of holes um, for them to fill. What was it about wanting to come into this group where there is so much uncertainty and still things that need to be figured out? Uh, I mean, you see a lot of potential. Um, you know, I, I, I look back at my, myself and my career early, and, you know, there was a lot of struggles because, you know, you didn't necessarily have the, uh, the right coach or the right person or, you know, the right scheme. And sometimes it's just, uh, it just happens that way. So, um, you know, just to see a lot of that potential in that room. Uh, I mean, the, the right tackle position over there has been amazing. That's last year with Taylor. So uh, just look at, get, look at the, get to work with some of those young guys. It's just one of those things that I was looking forward to, to be able to kind of help them through some of the things that, you know, I struggled with earlier in my career. And then real quick follow-up, um, what would you like Carolina Panthers fans to know about you? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to play hard. Uh, I'm going to always have my teammates back. Uh, I mean, we're going to have fun. And, you know, it's going to be electric being able to get fans back in that stadium. Can't wait to play. Let's go to Joe Person. Hey, Cameron. Uh, I am at the Athletic here in Charlotte, so good to meet you. Um, hey, how you doing? Do you know of anyone else in the league uh, that you've met or heard about that has played all five spots? That seems like a pretty rare thing. And is there part of you that ever has wondered, like, has that versatility ever kind of worked against you where people, you know, wonder if you have one spot that you really excel at? Uh, I mean, there's a few guys in the league that necessarily haven't been put in a position to have to actually play in games in uh, auto position, but they're definitely versatile enough to do it. Um, and I mean, it, I looked at it as a negative thing early in my career, but you know, as I as I got older, I realized that you know it's it's a blessing to be able to see the game from all those different positions and be able to you know see things sometimes that just somebody who does who only plays one position, you know, might not see. Uh, so you know it, it slowed the game down in that aspect for me. So uh, it's been a, it's been a good thing, and I've embraced it. Cameron, real quick too. Uh, I know you're older, but do you have any background with Brian Burns with your uh, Seminoles connection? Oh man, I used to go back and watch Brian uh, Brian and the guys play uh, in his early years at FSU. Haven't been back in a while, but you know those were the only times I really came across him. Uh, you know we talked in passing over the years, but. Definitely excited to be on the team with him and, you know, be able to work with him and compete with him and, you know, make each other better. We'll go to David Newton for the next question. Hey, Cam, David Newton, ESPN.com. Um, 
I wanted to ask, obviously, because of the need at left tackle, everybody kind of assumed that you're going to be battling initially for that left tackle spot. Um, what specifically have you told, been told by the, the coaches on what they expect out of you and what would it mean to, to earn, I guess, such a, a, you know, a position that's so valuable on the team? Uh, well, what the coaches expect from me is to come in and bring in some better leadership, uh, to bring in, you know, fire, and to bring in just some understanding um, and also just to bring in some competitiveness. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good young players and, you know, uh, some guys are proving, some guys aren't proving, but, you know, that's the nature of this league. Uh, everybody out here is just trying to get better. So, um, I mean, in, in that aspect, I feel like that's what the coaches have expected from me and are going to expect from me going into this year's training camp. So, uh, you know, uh, as far as what they expect from me in, in, in a position, you know, I've, I've always been flexible. Whatever the team needs me to do, I'll do. So, uh, you know, Coach Rule will, you know, weigh in on those things and kind of make things more clear for you guys whenever he has an interview. But, uh, I mean, that's, you know, that, that that's his job right there. So. Let's go to Josh Klein next. Hey, Cameron, uh, welcome to Charlotte. Um, Josh Klein with the Riot Report. Um, I know you play five positions on the offensive line in the pro. What was the transition like from uh, from defensive tackle to offensive line, and how did that kind of come about? I know it was in college. Uh, it was it was one of those things where <clears throat> FSU. Uh, when I got to college, you know, we had a very veteran offensive line. Um, you know, Rodney Hudson and, and, and a host of guys like Andrew Dacko, Zebra Sanders, and Ryan McMahon. And they were all seniors and have been playing together for years. So when those guys left, uh, I mean, it, it left the offensive line um, in need to, you know, fill some positions. And, you know, I, I, I mean, they asked me my, fresh, my freshman year when I first got there, but I kind of, you know, you know, denied it. And then I played a year on defense. And then that next year, they gave me the same opportunity, and I actually tried it. And it was a pretty natural move for me. So, um, you know, it, it, it was pretty easy to make that decision. Do you – would you like the passer or protecting the passer? If you had your druthers, if you got to choose right now. Protecting the passer. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, that's what I get paid for. Um, I mean, I, I'm so used to it now. I mean, it, I still remember playing defensive line, but – you know, I, I tell you, my body look it, it's not the same after uh, training your body to play offensive line for so long. You know, I probably ain't got those same moves I might I might have had back in the day. Did you have a, a go-to pass rush move? Oh, man, I just I, – I had a nose for the ball. That, that's all I can say, man. And uh, just real quick, I heard uh, I heard a dog in the background. What kind of dog do you have? Uh Damn. Well, this dog you just heard was a golden retriever, but we also have a husky mix outside. Uh, I'm, uh, my fiance is on work calls over here, so she's trying to be quiet. So it's a lot going on in the house right now. <laughs> All right, let's go to Elena Getzenberg next. Hey, Cameron, Elena Getzenberg with the Charlotte Observer. Nice to meet you. Um, I was curious just to start, I saw you're from Georgia originally. Is it nice to be coming back to the South? You know, I know you played in Dallas. It's not really the South. So is it nice to go back to this area? Oh yeah, it's definitely nice to be going, getting back close to home. Uh, definitely being able to play in Atlanta uh, every year and being able to play uh, in, in Tampa every year. I mean, that's definitely going to be nice. Uh, those are the teams that I really grew up watching. Uh, so to be able to play in this division is, is, is an amazing experience that I'm looking forward to having. Did you grow up a Falcons fan? Uh, being from Georgia, I definitely grew up a, a, a big Falcons fan. You know, Mike Vick and Algie Crumpler, those guys were, were some of my favorite players. But, uh, you know, o over time, you know, it's, it's kind of shifted. I'm, I, it's just been – you know, especially playing in the NFL, things are so different. So, uh, you know, I still got love for the hometown team, but uh, home state team. But, yeah, you know, we got – those are our wives. Those are our wives. Um, and I was also just curious, you know, having, you know, played so many positions along the line, you kind of alluded to this, but, you know, how do you feel like that – I know you say it mentioned helps you – the game slow down some, but – what kind of perspective does that give you? Like if you're playing left tackle and, you know, you've experienced playing left guard, how does that help you play along the offensive line? Like, what do you think that brings to your game? 
just just knowing and understanding the type of issues that every position has to uh, has to address every week. I mean, you know, a left guard or inside guy, they usually set shorter, but it depends on who you're playing against. Sometimes you have to change up those things, and um, it's all just the little things that you, you know, you tend to you, you tend to overlook if you just play one spot. And and me, I've done it all, so now it's 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 it's, it's easier to work with guys and you know be more cohesive, and you know just be on the same page. Uh, just just knowing those things and being able to actually give guys pointers because you've been there before as opposed to just saying what you think you would do. Um, I mean, it's it's just good to have that experience and uh, it's, it's always nice to, you know, share knowledge and help. And I was just curious one last thing. Did you know any guys on the Panthers line at all just from previous experiences or any familiar faces on this roster for you? Uh, I mean, uh, to be honest, there, there's a lot of guys I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting getting to know. Um, guys that I, you know, maybe saw in crossing, maybe we may not even remember that we shook each other's hands. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting there and meeting all those guys uh, and, you know, building a relationship. So uh, it makes that playing, playing with each other a lot easier. Let's go back to Joe Person. Cameron, you're you're joining a team where the quarterback position is a little unsettled, I guess you'd say. Um, wondered if if you know Teddy at all. One, and then two, uh, whether that that position and the situation there came up at all in your talks with the Panthers uh, front office or coaching staff. Uh, as of now, you know Teddy's our quarterback, uh, and and that's what I know. That's all I know. Uh, you know, I, I just got there. Uh, so I, I reached out to Teddy and, you know, we had a short text conversation. I just told him I, I got his back, you know, and, you know, I just want to make sure he knows that I, I will be there for him. So uh, whatever whatever capacity that may be. So, um, you know, that that's how I'm going about this situation because as a player, you know, a lot of things are uncertain. You know, things can happen one day and be completely different than the next. And, uh, you know, uh, those are those battles that I don't, you know, you can't really get into. You lose trying to give your true opinion. So, you know, I just leave it up to them. I mean, the team, the team knows what they want to do better than I do. So, all right. Does anybody have any more questions for Cameron before we let him go? All right. Looks like that's going to do it, Cameron. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank y'all. Appreciate it, Cameron.